Hey everybody, Matt here with Big Red Liquors, and today I'm really excited because it is right, we're right in the middle of the crazy rare bourbon season, and Old Forester drops this bomb of a whiskey. Uh, what I am considering the best standard release whiskey, something you can buy off of a shelf uh, that's not allocated of 2016. This thing is absolutely incredible. Uh, and I, you know, one of my favorite whiskeys, everyday whiskeys, is Old Forester 100 Proof. Um, and I've tasted a handful of times some Old Forester single barrels that teetered really on brilliant, that were, that were this good, this quality. But this Old Forester 1920 Prohibition era 115 proof, so essentially barrel strength, slightly standardized, uh, is the best standard release whiskey of 2016. Uh, they found the honey barrels somewhere in Louisville and uh, they, they put them in a bottle and they put them for sale. Finally, something this good, uh, this rich, this quality that you can just buy, <laughs> which is really fantastic. So. Oh man, um, Brown Foreman obviously was granted one of uh, one of ten medicinal whiskey licenses during Prohibition. Uh, most of that Prohibition style is a marketing thing here, but oh, the whiskey smells so good. So caramel, toffee. Um, I get huge brown sugar notes here. Um, I get a little bit of a uh, coffee note to this, get, um, red apple, green apple, a little bit, kind of a green fruit, red fruit blend, um, a little bit of like maple syrup, <sighs> just sort of rich fall flavors in this whiskey, but that brown sugar note just keeps coming back. Let's taste it. Mmm. Wow. No sharp oak bitterness to this. Um, this is a well-matured whiskey. Uh, it's got that baseline elegance and sweetness that you get in like a Woodford Reserve, but the flavors of that sugar, it's almost like a, a sugar cane, a kind of sweet grass, a brown sugar keeps coming back over and over again. That flavor, persistent. And then on the finish, this really nice, clean, long, toasted marshmallow flavor that you get uh, sort of right at, the, right at the tip of your tongue. So I'm calling this the best standard release that I've tasted so far in 2016. That excludes allocated and that excludes single barrels, but just as a standard release whiskey, this one beats them all. Uh, and I'm, I was, you know, the Whiskey Row series, I've been kind of, man, some of them are good, some of them are okay. This one is incredible. So if you don't have the 1920 Old Forester in your collection, uh, you need to get it now, and it shouldn't be in your collection. It should be open on your bar because you're going to love drinking this. Cheers.